Konami, Konami, all praise to the Lord, Konami and Jesus, the Electrum. Today's video is gonna be updated, Pendulum best deck in the format, and I'm not saying that for shits and gigs anymore. Pendulums really are the best deck in the format, and here is the updated Pendulum list, let's go. This deck list is my updated new ban list, opponent slapping, thunder dragon clapping, Sky Striker demolishing, Salaman Great whooping, Orca shitting, meta destroying pendulum deck with the entire ban list in mind, knowing there's gonna be multitudes of hand traps. Just the greatest pendulum deck that blitzkrieg's through hand traps, that makes hand traps utterly useless and destroying boards going second with the entire side deck made to obliterate Thunder Dragons. So, if you're excited for it, hit the subscribe button. Let's hit 17,500 subscribers before I wake up, because you know what? It's Trifmas, baby. This is my third video of the day, because you know what? Success doesn't sleep, and neither do you, and uh, apparently uh, neither do I. So, with that being said, enjoy the most amazing pencil video ever. Let's go. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the best card in this deck is DD Sabbath Kepler. In the words of Kevin Garnett, Anything is possible! And pendulums are the best deck! Oh, let's go! As you see, this is our hand over here. I was right over here. I'm gonna fast forward the whole thing until we get to the pendulum summit. And then show you the new pendulum deck I got cooking for you guys. New balance, absolutely remarkable. As you see there, DDs, baby. DDs are nuts. DDs are nuts. We're gonna make this very fast. We're gonna show you guys the deck profile as well. But just the new combo. Look how much, look how plus I am! Look how plus I am! Look how plus I am. This new deck's amazing with the DDs, updated list. I'll talk about it as we get there. The deck is about to go second with 40 spell cards. 4-0, 40. Your servant, your abductor, your master is resolving every time. Kepler equals two spells. Contract equals two, three spells. Uh, Cause contract, get Kepler, Kepler, get contract. So yeah, two spells, sorry. But, and then Kepler, get contract, contract, get Thomas. You get two spells from one. From any of them, you get two spells. Absolutely amazing. And 40 spells, bro. 40 spells in SEC card deck. Like your servants and stuff are resolving all the time. DDs are so good with the Demion cards. And it gives you so much more plus now. Everyone's gonna be playing hand traps now because Slender's barely got touched. DDs are how you play through hand traps. What are you gonna do? Ash mine Kepler? No problem. Are you gonna use three hand traps so I have two cards left in hand? No problem. Kepler plus three, still whoop your ass. So it's like absolutely amazing. Absolutely remarkable what this deck could do. Like Shrine and Kepler is uh, dark. Shrine and Kepler is the same combo as Pen Call Dark Room. You know, like they were, that's how good it is. Uh, now look how plus we go. Like, look at this. Like, look at this. I don't even summon from action deck because I'm like, screw it. You go so plus here. You go so plus. Now that's so usually there. I just forgot to put it in. And so usually didn't get touched. Who the hell knows why? So you just special Kepler. And you just do the same combo as before. The deck is built to go second. This is hot red. I just can't, can't read. But the deck is built to go second, but you still put up boards like this going first. You still put up boards like this going first. That's uh, so what, six negates? Like, five negates and a not target bounce? Like, this is, the deck is built to go second. As you see in my deck profile, I'm about to do. The deck is built to go second, but does crazy stuff like this. Uh, and plays through any hand trap because of cards that are plus three, like the DD cards. Absolutely amazing. I don't know how the hell I came up with this in like the 30 seconds of the battle. I'm still hyped. I'm still hyped. I'm still hyped, man. I got more pendulum combos cooking for you guys. This is a new combo of DDs. Absolutely remarkable. It plays through any hand trap because of Kepler's, which are a plus three, which I think are mandatory now. Pendulum summon with gate zero. Absolutely amazing. I want to really talk about the deck profile mainly and how the deck is built to go second. Absolutely amazing going second. I'm going to talk about more combos in later videos to prepare you guys because pendulums are now the best deck. Pendulums are the best deck. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's the combo tutorial. Now I'm going to show you the deck profile. Quick note before we get started on the deck profile, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, comment down below what you guys think in the combo so far. Uh, in the deck profile, I completely forgot terraforming is limited and not, and not at two. I forgot it's at one. So I photoshopped, obviously, a mythical beast servers over the terraforming. I would rather more services over the terraforming. Enjoy the deck profile. Now, time for the deck list. Man, 40 spells. It is a game plan behind the deck. There's always a game plan behind any deck you need to play. The game plan here, you draw a servant, abductor, or uh, mastery, and you play a 50 card deck, because all these are draw cards. And you play 40 spells, because 31, Razor, 34, Chronograph, 37, because they leave the scale. They're literally spells. They go in the scale and leave, and then Kepler gets you two spells. Contract and a pendulum. So, and contract itself gets you two spells. A lot of these cards get you two spells. So, 40 spells with like 10 of them being two spells for itself. So it's like 50 almost. 
40 spells. You're resolving Servant, Abductor, and Mastery twice per turn. Like, they could Ash, your Servant, or Ogre, and you can do it again after. The, it, there's a game plan behind it, hence the Keplers and stuff. The deck is built to go second. With this new list, there's gonna be a shit ton of hand traps. Kepler gives you a plus three through hand traps. I thought of all this before the battle, I'm like, okay, if it's gonna be a formula with hand traps, you're gonna need plus cards, like Kepler. If it's gonna be a formula without hand traps, you don't need plus cards at all. You just go for a more powerful board instead, because there's gonna be no hand traps. But there's gonna be more hand traps. So we got the most consistent spell heavy list most consistent pendulum list that is also in part the most broken board also in part the most amazing going second and playing through stuff just try this deck for yourselves if you guys screw up with it you just suck anyways let's go straight into it three servant three the decks to you zero i'm telling you right now it's the best deck by far i don't care what anyone says two dark room because you want to know about something the kepler not the dark room dark room is only there for foolishes and shrines and, and ravines which you always need this deck is now heavily re reliant without uh, uh without rusty the deck is now heavily reliant on the Guard Dragon combo. Guard Dragon is going to be a whole new thing, and I made a mistake here, I completely forgot. This is supposed to be Saryuja, so it's going to kind of put those out there. And I put the wrong hot red, so it's going to make these quick changes. Uh, okay, there we go. Alright, there we go. Uh, so yeah, uh, and then two Harmonizer, because you got six Pendulum Calls, you always get the Harmonizer, and you got eight of them. Oath Pit Dragon Caller. You don't need Purple Poison. Purple Poison doesn't do shit to a Harbinger, which Thunder Dragons are going to have up on board. And the only deck you ever want to have Poison against is basically Thunders. What the hell are you use Poison for versus Striker or Salamangre? They don't do shit against them whatsoever. Mystic Mind doesn't do shit against any of that. Any deck you're going to be facing, like, Purple Poison doesn't do shit against. Uh, you're going to only want to ever Thunder, but Harbinger shits on Purple Poison. So you're never going to actually use Purple Poison. So it's just a waste of a card. So you just got Oath Pit and then the Caller, right? And then you got the Gazer. Uh, I wasn't even putting a level 4 in there because you do play Utopia Package, but Harmonizing will always bring on Gazer, and they'll go into Yazi, and Yazi gets you level 4 in Mirror Mirror. So it's an even quicker way to get it. It's an even smarter way to get it. So instead of just going for level 4, you go straight for Yazi, because Harmonizing went to, uh, it's like a whole next level big brain type of play, where Yazi gets into the Mirror Mirror, which pops stuff, and then you go into Double or Nothing. Absolutely broken. Uh, Gate 0, Savin Thomas, because uh, it gives you a plus 3 with the Kepler. Ja one Jackal, one Distrudo, one Endymion, one Mare Mare. You might want to play one Cerberus, it's an option as well. I think I might want to play it over one, let's say one Curtain Razor. Uh, just another Turbo, like the Turbo Con is already amazing, so you don't need too much. But just the one Cerberus in case you want to pop a Contract, get the Cerberus, and then destroy it to draw one. Sometimes you want to do that and still get the Jackal in hand. Uh, Distrudo, Mare Mare, you need it, the deck is built to go second. Double or nothing, and look, look, look at the action deck here. You got Boral Sword, Utopia Package, and Yazi going second. So the whole game plan here is to Utopia them to death and win the duel by Utopia. Uh, they can't stop it. They can't stop it. They're gonna stop your entire Pendulums, your Guard Dragon combo, even your Yazi. They're gonna stop everything. But then out of nowhere, Utopia <laughs> clapped them into oblivion. Triple Kepler, Triple Chrono, uh, Double Razor. Kepler is literally the best card in this deck. Kepler and drawing Kepler and away in one of these nine. So drawing one of your Keplers or one of your Foolish Burials equals the exact same board as Pen Call Dark Worm. It ends on the exact same board because of how many plus cards you actually get. It's absolutely broken. You get Gate Zero, you get Thomas and the free, and you get Harmonizing into your hand by popping the contract. Like it's absolutely broken. Oh my goodness. And then another, oh my God. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I should have played it before to be honest, but there's no space. I want to play Rusty. Anyways, Double or Nothing. If you're not playing Double or Nothing, you're absolutely fried. Uh, just please play double or nothing or you're stupid. It's an absolute auto win. All nine of these, you need the, to resolve the guard dragon. Do you still play Curve Razor? Because if they have two hand traps or hand trap format, if they have Ash plus Valor and you have Cerberus, then your Cerberus stays there, which is going to hurt you. If they have Ash on Cerberus and nothing else, it, it doesn't do shit. But you don't want to take that risk. So double Curve Razor is just ensuring that you're going to draw one of these 11. You never, ever, ever want to see a hand that you don't see one of these 11. If you don't see one of these 11 in the hand, your hand might be a little poo poo. I don't like jokes, this will be great, but we'll be way better with it. Triple Master, Triple Pango, Triple Alliance, Double Contract, 3 and 2 is great. If you play one contract, then when you open a contract, Kepler won't get anything. So 3 and 2 is correct. Kepler is broken, I play 7 Keplers if I can. And then 10 draw cards. So every single hand will resolve Servant, Abductor, and Mastery. Not debatable, V60. Now, look at the side deck, which is absolutely built to destroy, obliterate Thunders. Like, obliterate. Like, every, every uh, game after siding, you auto win. Uh, all you gotta see is you just draw one sphere, draw one lava golem, draw one mystic mine, or draw one set rotation. Because now we got down terraforming, set rotation, mystic mines, lava golems, spheres, all of them draw one, their whole board is broken, and you build your own and destroy them. Like, it's absolutely amazing. And especially because you can pendulum some of the Kepler with gate zero scale. 
broken. And all you need to resolve to win is just a Utopia double. So don't forget, Lava Golem in attack mode, like uh, Utopia is 1000 attack. All you need to do is 1000 more, but with Bolsa or Color of the Day. Too easy, honestly, too easy. And on top of that, you can play all this, you're gonna see a lot of Pendulum as well. So you got nine hate cards versus Pendulum and Thunder, which is the two best decks in this format. And it's not even close, like it's not even a debate. It's not, it's just those two and everything else in like, oh, like multiple, multiple, multiple levels below. You want to still have one Black Guardian because Mystic Mind is, is still going to be a threat regardless. You got three other Quick Play spells to bring up Mystic Mind. You got the three Mystic Mind in the sub, still got the one type one, one Metaverse. That is still going to be an issue. So you still want to have that. And on top of that, Black Guard, I think uh, Sky Strikers are still going to be an issue still. So you still have Triple Denko, Black Guardian, Anti Rotation, and Double Terraforming because Black Guardian destroys Sky, Sky Strikers. So you still have six, uh, seven auto win cards in a 50 card deck because you have 10 draw cards and you have so your six cards to draw into. Big brain, way better than hand trap. Don't play hand traps in this format. Well, these cards obliterate everything. And then Danko and Reboot, and like all these cards, obliterate. Look at this. Draw any of these 15 side cards. Draw one. You auto win in the matchup you play them against. Why would you want to play uh, Impermanence, a Valor, a uh, Glancia? They didn't do shit to Thunder. It literally doesn't do shit. They didn't do shit all whatsoever. So why, you're gonna need to see three hand traps to stop them, or to see one of these versus anything, a Bakro deck, a Mystic Mind deck, a Striker deck, a Salamangri deck, a uh, Thunder deck, a Orcas deck, which Orcas is irrelevant now because no Rusty. So, like, it depends on the deck. Doesn't matter what deck you face, draw one of these, you literally just auto win. This side deck is the best side deck in the game right now. Uh, extra deck, Electrum, LP, Triple Burst, Agar, Pain, Saryusha, Absolute, Vortex, Abyss, Dragster. What's a debatable, you could, if you want, you can take out Absolute, and uh, Archfiend Abyss, if you really want to, you're gonna take out these two for more Nightmare cards. But there's no reason to play Nightmare cards in this format because uh, back row decks are kind of dead, to be honest. You're just gonna see Thunders and this. And the ones that do play back row, you're gonna obliterate them anyways. Look at the extra deck. No, everyone's extra deck is garbage. They play, they don't even play, like, they play like, oh, the rank four uh, Supreme King, thinking it'll do shit. Buddy, it doesn't do shit. It doesn't do jack shit. Uh, when Utopia does 10,000 damage and you wanna do 4,000 damage with the Supreme King, get, get the hell out of here. Yazi, Utopia, Brosword. These are only five unique going second, obliterating everything. And you want the rest to go into to before you go into the other five the first 10 are kind of going second like the bait baiting them they're gonna hey you can't not not play so you should i mean they're still if konami's gonna be fried and not limit this or not this that's amazing hit the subscribe button you got this far i'm absolutely enamored by this deck